Hope you had a nice day. What's the best part of today? Spending time with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Thanks for coming along to enjoy my Christmas evening. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As Justin from the title, we're going to be reviewing a book today, Still Like an Artist, and it's by Austin Cleon. I'd actually seen it with someone on Instagram and then saved it and forgot about it. And then there was a time I was watching some video and someone mentioned the book again. I was like, okay, yeah, mental notes, I must buy it. I haven't bought a book in a while and I went to buy the book. Everyone should just be going through my collection of saved items and I was like, hmm, I saw the book there. He even had, the person was even holding another book by the same artist. Okay, the first time this book caught my attention was captured the person wrote. I think the person said if you're a creative you should definitely have read this book and then like the title of the book I don't know it just sounded interesting still like an artist the talks of plagiarism and the fact that you always have to like mention people when you use their stuff it just sounded like uh, okay this must be interesting they're telling us actually still in case I bought them the book is for anybody who just wants to inject some form of creativity and you know vibe into whatever it is they do you really don't have to be a creative creative it is something you can it apply to your work life, your personal life. Look, it's divided into 10 chapters. I'm obviously going to go through all the chapters with you guys. And each chapter also has like sub chapters with some quotes that are interesting. Obviously, I'm not going to read everything out um, of the book for you guys because obviously, it's someone's work. Hopefully, you guys get touched somehow and then get to buy the book yourself. First chapter is actually still like an artist. It just explains that nothing is actually original and there's nothing you under the sun and it um, quoted Ecclesiastics 1.9 There's nothing you're going to do today that hasn't been done before in some form of way So it's basically saying that every supposedly new idea is a mashup of something that already exists It's climb your family tree and what it meant by this was like have, it, have a mentor like if there's something you want to do in some form of field have a mentor in that field study the person very well study the kind of person the person liked so that's like you you know climbing your family tree try to understand everything related to that mentor which you really really adore or who you want to be like so they say school yourself so basically advised you google everything that before you even ask a question google it read more books in your life then save your thoughts for later so when you're walking on the road reading something watching something you grab things from you know things you like from what you're watching what you're seeing write it down with a book and pen to be honest i really don't like using book and pen because book and pen where will i now keep the book where will i keep the pen where will i find the pen so i always just use my notepad to register anything i think of it could even be an instagram caption so you, you can read something sometimes and you'll be like ah this will actually hit home for some people so no matter how i want to form like we spend so much time on social media so even if you think you're not learning something from reading people's captions and stuff it's actually sticking there somehow so if i have something nice to share i'll just write it down in my notepad and then probably use it on that if at some point chapter two goes don't wait until you know who you are to get started maybe you don't think you are good enough to start whatever it is your your heart is actually longing for no don't think like that just start it because you can never really know yourself until you start doing stuff start doing stuff start saying ah okay this is what i like in doing this thing this is how i like to do this this is how it works more and then you also advise that you have to dress for the job you want not the job you have so it's just kind of like fitting it so you make it kind of thing so just like just get going you can never be everything in fact you discover yourself more when you start doing stuff he advises that you should start copying like copy 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 when you're even copying you don't just copy the style of the thing the person is doing try and think of what make the person come up with this style and then try and copy that way of thinking that's a better way to copy mm -hmm. imitation not being a form of flattery which is something i always say like it's very really related to when someone just imitates you like to the core <laughs> you know so it says imitation and emulation are two different things you have a hero you love their work just try and transform it in a way that is you know only you can do and that's a better way to emulate people and then he talked about Kobe Bryant's story I think Kobe Bryant said before he started playing or while he was playing he used to like watch tips and watch tips and watch tips of his heroes people he loved so he learned this skill from this one learned this donkey from this one learned this because obviously you can never just try and be if you're trying to copy someone just exactly how they are that's not you you have to say what do I like from here what do I like from here like, gather it and then put it to your own style and then you get amazing results so I think that was it for chapter 2 let's go chapter 3 write the book you want to read try and create a scenario where you're planning so just try and give your bigger picture a picture you would like a book you want to read so that can kind of help you and guide you towards getting to that um, goal and number four says use your hands 
even had a lot of people criticizing the computer how the computer actually just makes you sit in one place but when you're using your hands you're molding things you're blending things you're you know going out that him he even said he had like an a manual table where he used like sticky notes and stuff and then he has another computerized table where he you know does everything with design that the computer is actually good for you to publish your ideas but generating and creating those ideas you have to do it manually something like that yeah so use your hands a lot it even exercises your whole brain and your body when you're not just sitting foot on the system and then just like automating everything so the fifth one side projects and hobbies are important then there's a quote that I really like. It says, the work you do when you procrastinate is probably the work you should be doing for the rest of your life. Just think about it. When you're supposed to be doing maybe your work and then you're doing something else instead of that work, that's something else. Look at it well. That's probably where you're supposed to be in life. So, you know they say procrastination is not good. But he actually said practice productive procrastination that's when you're procrastinating something let's be that you're going to do something else if you love this you love that you love this you love that when you're tired of doing this i want to procrastinate okay i'll continue this one later go and do another one that you love like let it not be something stupid that you're doing you know? so do something productive but like put your hands on them when you're pro so that that procrastination won't look bad because you're actually achieving another sensible goal somewhere it further goes to advice through any part of yourself you may like you can like so many things trust me you don't need to choose one thing and say yes obviously have your 95 job oh. you guys i always advise that have your Five job. So whenever all these your passions and creative things are just coming up, gather all of them, try all of them, and then see how you go with all of them. Don't throw any part of yourself away. So that's the end of that chapter. Chapter six says the secret: do good work and share it with people. In the beginning, obscurity is good. Obscurity is like when you're unknown. That's like the best time because that's when you're so free. Imagine you being so popular. Like before you even post something, you think 10 million times. But when you're obscure, you're still trying. You're still redoing. You're still, you know, just free yourself. Wonder about. Learn so much. But note that that period in your life is very, very important because you have the freedom to change and make mistakes and do everything until you're certain, okay, this is where I really, really want to follow. Maybe a situation where everybody's talking about something, everybody's trying to do something. Just think of something else that you like that it's not actually like the same with them even if you really really like what's the same with them you can still you know continue that way but let your thinking style be kind of like different just make yourself a bit different because your results always come different when you're thinking differently but don't come online because you have something to say come online because you there are things to learn i always tell people join instagram like you don't even need to be posting things just look at your mates in another country look at your mates in another career look at your mates in like it just gives you like things you would have thought about you see people do it and you open your mind to come up. okay this person is doing maybe art like this maybe i'm now doing music can i do music like you know because you can never know everything just sitting down in your own area with your own normal friends your own normal just open up your mind go on the internet with the motive to learn not to i have what to say obviously you have something to say share it but always bear in mind that you're actually out there to learn some people like me were very skeptical about like sharing things my personal life or even some things maybe i'm working on something now i don't really, really like sharing that much so he says that you can just share dots just little bits of the thing you know just because obviously sometimes just to share is actually doing you but you don't really ideally it's not really what you like so yeah just share a bit bits and pieces like you just share dots of it you don't need to connect the dot for people stuff so i think that's how chapter six ended i love this chapter seven chapter seven is geography is no longer our master and that is the internet like you guys internet is one amazing thing fine it has a lot of downfalls a lot of this but there are people you would never have met if not for the internet like you can be here someone else is 10 million miles away that you never have seen them in your <laughs> entire life but because of the internet you meet them so geography is not your master in selling your products in get letting so many things like there's no geography again you can post things you can share things so just open your mind and be ready to absorb things from other people's culture when I mean, maybe you were born and brought up in one like very quiet place but man the place doesn't just look like where yeah, what will suit you the what you like obviously online you can have a community because there's always people who are like you online so that helps but then again sometimes you actually have to carry yourself and go to where you can be more productive whatever it is you want to do with the fact that geography is not a master sometimes you actually have to take yourself to the location right. to actually get the best out of you and your thoughts and ideas and this eighth chapter says be nice the world is a small place make more friends ignore the enemy it's so easy to stay but it's difficult to do ignore haters ignore negativity i mean if if like when i get features let's say there's this place called ben and nigeria nigeria it's a very nice big website you can get features there when i get i don't read any comments positive negative i just stay back appreciate the future 
maybe thank the website for publishing and run out even instagram someone post your picture before you know people are coming to write ignore them if you have energy you can go there maybe just relate to the people who are positive about it and stuff and then be wary of those people who will go to such platforms see negative positive more positive more more positive but bring the negative to you that did you see you ignore those kind of people like try and cut them off because there are a lot of people that are already there to bring your to bring you down but your spirit and your soul needs to be positive for you to be able to move faster more confidently more productively so just try and protect your space yeah. be kind to people be kind be very kind you never know what, who is going through what you never know who even has the talent you're looking for you just look at all you know um, physically and start judging and start just be kind if you have nothing positive to say shut up well, validation is just for parking. The best way to get validation is not to need it. Just appreciate something, give it the best you can give, the good, whatever you can give, and move on. As I explained already, delete negative stuff. Yeah, he actually said that. Delete negative stuff and keep the great ones you need in the late years. Always just try and keep, like, just think of good things in your life. And even maybe people's lovely comments, you can actually capture them for the day when you're so down. Trust me, there are more people that probably like you than, than people that hate you or people that you don't just want to talk to. There's people that even like invisible because it's the internet and I know I'm telling you the internet is so great but then again there are people who just create go there to just <laughs> make it mess you know just to bring you down for no reason so just try it once in a while maybe someone's message that's really really nice I will do it with my partner's messages I'm going to send like really really cute stuff I just like capture my whatsapp page so that the day so the whatsapp chats the chat page so the day he just annoys me I just go ah, so he's even done I said it's okay 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 you know so you should do the same thing with your life and your work and stuff just hold on to those positive things people say but don't go back and be living in past glory you guys you need to progress every time but it's just good sometimes just look back and be like okay actually did that I actually like got that lovely comment and then keep yourself going take away those negative energy cut people off when they are giving you negative vibes and just hold on to positivity because it helps you it helps your confidence it helps your productivity he called it a praise file like keep a praise file <laughs> so that's like all your good nice things you can just capture and keep in one place or even print out just look you know you can add it to your mood board in one corner of your mood board just to help you and just be really inspired the ninth chapter says be boring <laughs> that is the only way to get things done take care of yourself obviously we eating your health working out and stuff like that you just keep your day job really until whatever it is that is you know sweetening your body creatively is capable of sustaining you because when there's no inflow guys it's, it's depressing you also need to be able to help people because we didn't come to this world to take care of just ourselves so having your day job can also you know give you means to help those around you and just create a time where okay this is what i devote, um, devote to my passion this is the time i devote to my passion and then it could be also some sleepless nights to be honest because your passion is something you enjoy something that gets you going so what's there if you lose a bit of sleep just to make sure you accomplish that it's about having a calendar having a plan i always use my notepad versus the calendar in the phone as well so just remind me of stuff and also write things i always write things my notepad i can also search so when i'm looking for what i've written before i just quickly go and search on it that marry well isn't just with your life partner it's also with your business partner your friends and those you choose to be around you it's so important to choose the right people then the last one says chapter 10 creativity is subtraction it's like when i'm editing a video especially just one mini videos for instagram oh my god i will put everything everything as in a person who starts trying to reduce it creativity is actually those things you leave out the idea that you can do anything is absolutely terrifying to be honest as they, as they always tell us whatever you think you can actually do so just know what you're leaving out you know that that actually has some power just knowing okay what am i taking out of this and what am i actually going to do so just try and put some restrictions on yourself when you're making creative decisions say this um, quote by jack white telling yourself you have all the time in the world all the money in the world and all the colors in the palette anything you want it just kills creativity creativity isn't just the things we do but it's the things we tend to leave out that's it for this book if you enjoyed it i think you should um, buy it and the good thing about the book is that it's so easy to read it's got like all these black things are quotes yeah there was one quote i saw and i liked it says originality is just undetected plagiarism <laughs> <laughs> That's like really there's nothing original. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Just click the subscribe button if you haven't and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye